Hi there, this is Energy Lesson 5, part of the GCSE Physics. And this one's kinetic energy. So we're going to describe what kinetic energy is and then use the kinetic energy equation to solve problems. So kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a body because of its speed and mass. Here's the equation, which I'll go into some more detail in a moment, show you how to rearrange it. So kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times speed squared. So I advise you write that down. And write down the units as well, obviously. So kinetic energy is in joules, mass is in kilograms, and speed is in meters per second. Then I'm going to show you the shorthand version of the equation and show you how to rearrange it. Okay, let's move on. So the equation, kinetic energy, Ke, is equal to a half mv squared. Now I know it's v, but it, it does mean speed. It's not velocity, because... Well, energy is a scalar quantity, and kinetic energy is obviously energy, so that's a scalar. So V can't be velocity because that would be a vector, so V is speed. If you're ever asked. Right, let's, let's talk about rearranging. So let's rearrange to find mass, first of all. So it might look a bit scary, but it's not that bad at all, to be honest. So the first thing we could get rid of is the half. So how do I get rid of a half? Well... The, the opposite of halving is timesing by 2. So I can write... That thing is so annoying. I can write 2 times the kinetic energy equals mv squared. And then we just need to get mass on its own. So connected to the mass is a times v squared. So what's the opposite of timesing by v squared? Dividing by v squared. So 2 times the kinetic energy divided by v squared will give us the mass. Just make sure you've got that or written it down or you know how to do it already then the next one so we've got kinetic energy again let's find v this time as for speed kinetic energy is a half mv squared so we need to get rid of the half so let's times by two so two times the kinetic energy equals mv squared then we need to get rid of a times m so the opposite of timesing by m is dividing by m so two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass give us the speed squared and then obviously we need to get rid of the squared because we just want speed so the opposite of squaring is square rooting so it will be two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass square rooted to give us the speed hopefully that's okay let's move on let's do some questions so if you want to pause and have a go at these and then i'll take through the answers so calculate the kinetic energy of a car of mass 1,000 kilograms moving at 5 meters per second. So we just need to do kinetic energy is half mv squared. Notice I'm writing the equation every time. Show the examiner that I know what I'm doing. Then it's just a matter of putting the numbers in. So 0 0.5 times the mass, which is 1,000, times the speed squared. So 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. So we've got 25 times 1,000 and then half it. So that's 12,500 joules. Okay, next one. So calculate the kinetic energy of a child of mass 60 kilograms. So if you didn't get the last one right, you should be able to apply what you've just learned onto this one. So kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So let's put some numbers in. So 0 0.5 times the mass of 60 kilograms times 3 squared, which is 9. Calculate that, that should give you 270 joules. Okay, let's move on to some more questions. Okay, so be careful with these. Just want to pause and have a go. Calculate the kinetic energy of an apple of mass 200 grams moving at 12 meters per second. So this time we've got a mass of in grams, so we need to turn that into kilograms. So to go from grams to kilograms, we divide by 100, uh, sorry, 1000. Only divide by 100 if you want to get it wrong. If you want to get it right, divide by a thousand. So 0 0.2 kilograms. So straightforward now. Kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So 0 0.5. Another reason for writing out the equations is to help you remember them because obviously in the exams you have to remember the equations. And get rid of that. That's so annoying. So 0 0.5 times the mass, which is 0 0.2, times speed squared. So 12 squared is 144. So that gives us 
14.4 joules. All right, next one. So a bit more complicated. So we need mass, so we need to rearrange. So we've got an energy of two megajoules, which is mega means million, so two million. And we've got the speed. So uh, kinetic energy is half mv squared. Then let's rearrange to find the mass. So we need to get rid of the half. So two times the kinetic energy. We've done this already. Equals mv squared. And then we need to get rid of the v squared. So times v squared. So we need to divide by v squared. So two times the kinetic energy divided by the speed squared to give the mass. Then we just need to put the numbers in. So two times two million. So that's four million. If you've done standard form, you might want to write four times 10 to the power of six just to tidy it up divided by speed squared. So four squared is 16. So that gives us 250,000 kilograms. Okay, let's move on. So we've got two more questions, two more calculations if you want to have a go. So just pause the video. Calculate the speed of a car of mass 1,200 kilograms if its kinetic energy is 15,000 joules. So what we're going to do is to rearrange find speed so kinetic energy is a half mv squared so remember we need to times by two so two times the energy equals mv squared then we need to get rid of the times m so we're going to divide by m and then we need to square root so two times the kinetic energy divided by m square rooted and that will give us the speed so the energy is 15,000 so two times the energy will be 30,000 divided by the mass of 1,200 and then we need to square root and that gives us a speed of 5 meters per second okay last calculation so we're going to calculate the speed of a ball of mass 400 grams if its energy is 20 joules so exact same as what we've just done but this time we need to divide by a thousand to give us 0 0.4 kilograms so same equation, so the velocity, oh sorry, speed, shouldn't do that, is two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass, square rooted. So the energy is 20, so that's two times that's 40, divided by the mass of 0 0.4, and then square root. So that should give you 10 meters per second. Okay, let's move on. So a bit of a recap consolidation, including other forms of energy. So if you want to have a go at that now, if you want to write it out and get some comprehensive notes, or you can just write one to eight, put the keywords in the correct order. If you want to do it without the keywords, do it now. I'm going to put the keywords on now, and then I'll take through the answers. So elastic potential energy is the energy stored when an object is stretched or squashed. This energy is released when the object returns to its original shape. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its speed and mass. If the mass of the object is doubled, then the kinetic energy doubles. If the speed is doubled, the kinetic energy will increase by four times. When a stretched elastic band is released, elastic potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And actually what I'm going to do is to explain in a little bit more detail this. So, if you've got the kinetic energy equation, and you doubled the mass, if we put stuck a 2 in there, so 2 times the mass, if we've doubled the right-hand side of the equation, we need to double the left-hand side. So, if we double the mass, we would end up with 2 times the kinetic energy, obviously, if it stayed at the same speed. So that was the first part. The second part, this comes up quite a lot on examinations actually, ask what happens to the kinetic energy if you double the speed. So if I do two times the speed, you might incorrectly say that it gives you two times the kinetic energy, but it doesn't. Because speed is squared, so we have to square the two as well. So two squared is four times the kinetic energy. And that's all it is. So hopefully that's helped. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.